So it's really fun when I get to come and speak at schools because I always know they're going to have a whole lot of questions and they're also really, really excited to meet Miss Texas. I like to use, um, my talk is called the Legos for Life and it's great because every school probably wants their students to hear something a little different so I usually get some input from them, especially this week being Red Ribbon Week. I get to talk about making good choices and saying no to drugs and doing well in school. Sometimes I talk about math and science, sometimes I talk about English and reading. It really depends on whatever those students are kind of need to fill the whole and to really encourage their teachers and to encourage the students to do well in school. It is something that I came up with. Um, my platform is all about empowerment, specifically empowering women um, and working against gender inequality. But what I found is going into schools is that every kid needs to be empowered. And I found that they can connect to the Lego theme and when I use Legos and the concept of building their lives, that is very empowering to them because they can understand those small building blocks as things that they can do and attain as a way to build their life. And so that's why I connect it to who they want to be when they grow up as the Lego theme. And I found that even girls play with Legos, which I was not actually anticipating. And so I do get to tailor that message more to friendships and how they as girls can really excel in school because we've seen statistically that girls are underperforming in school compared to boys. So when I do get to speak to that all-girl audience, I really, really encourage them to be whoever they want to be, which I think they need to hear, mm -hmm. um, especially the girls group I've spoken to. They tend to be around third, fourth, fifth grade, which is when the underperforming tends to start for our elementary school students. So I found that someone coming in, especially a strong female figure, to talk to them and encourage them is is really powerful and I've gotten good feedback from their teachers as well. Um, it really grew out of, um, I would say when I was a senior in high school, is the first time I really saw this become something that I was passionate about. I went on a mission trip to India and spent a lot of time in northern India and in Rajasthan and I saw women and girls that were never going to have the opportunities that I had, um, most of the time just because they were women. And so that started this passion in my heart that no matter what, um, what kind of background a woman comes from here in the States or abroad, that I wanted to make sure that every single one that I could touch and talk to felt empowered and felt that she could achieve whatever she wanted to achieve. Yeah, um, I got to speak to all of the sixth grade girls when I was in Hallsville, out past Longview, and they've been having just some struggles with their girls as far as identity and knowing who they were, and so I got to speak more specifically to that and had them come up with answers for how they handle peer pressure, how they handle making good decisions, and so hearing their peers come up with those good decisions was something that was really encouraging, and I even got feedback as you know recently as a couple days ago that their teachers had seen a difference in them, and so that is the most encouraging thing for me to know that what I'm saying is making an impact on these girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish I could make it to every single school. That is my heart's desire. Um, but what I would tell them is that anyone can achieve their dreams. I tell especially high school students that I was really average in high school. I wasn't the most athletic, I wasn't the prettiest, I wasn't the smartest, I wasn't the top of my class, but I was dedicated to um, finding my own form of success. And that came in the form of being Miss Texas and it was a dream that I dedicated myself to. And so I want every student to know that no matter how they're doing right now, they can be something great and be someone great. So you notice today that when I talk about it, it's kind of a very brief blip, but I do want to get the message in their mind of saying no to drugs. More importantly, we focus on making good decisions because for pre-K through second grade, drugs aren't really something that we hope is going to find them at that young age, but they do understand very clearly the concept of making good choices. So that, that is something that I can re reinforce really easily for Red Ribbon Week. We did, and we got to have a lot of guest speakers um, come to especially my elementary school, and that was really influential for me and awesome for me, even as I remember as young as second grade, getting to see um, people like Miss Texas come into my school and speak to us and really encourage us to do the right things and make the right choices. And I think I saw that even as young as second grade, that if I would do well in school and if I would make really good choices, that I could be like that person speaking to me. So it's a really cool experience now that this has come full circle and I get to be the one speaking back into these kids' lives. But I mean, I think boys and girls are at the same level of smartness. Like me and Kayla are at the same level of smartness. I would think that it was really nice of her to come to our school and tell us all of this stuff about the Legos, doing good in school, no drugs, um, making good choices. We very much appreciated having Miss Texas on campus this morning to kick off our Red Ribbon Week. She delivered a message to our kids that let them know we need to take care of ourselves and make good choices. 
and keep our eye on our future so that we're able to achieve our dreams. We'll have Miss Texas coming back a couple of more times throughout the school year. We have a girls club that meets monthly and works with mentors from around the district and she'll be coming to visit and talk with at one of our girls club luncheons and then she'll be coming back again to see our older kids, the third, fourth, and fifth graders right before they embark on the state testing. And so as we visited with her about coming for the girls club, she wants to talk about her platform of empowering girls and um, that's a message that our students here at Rockbrook need to hear. Our girls especially need to hear about empowerment and that their choices are theirs and there are options for them in their life and for their future. And for the, when she comes back to talk with our third, fourth, and fifth graders before state testing, she'll be delivering a message of do your very best, take your time. Um, just try as hard as you can, not only in today, for today and for, for an assessment that's coming up, but try as hard as you can in your life so that you're able to achieve all those dreams that you wish to have. Awesome.